Hello everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BISP Solutions. Today my topic is chi square test of association in Excel. So first, uh, what is chi square distribution I am going to tell you and then uh, about the Excel functions of chi test and with the help of those functions we are going to calculate the chi square test of association. So first, what is chi square distribution? The chi-square distribution is commonly used to make inferences about a population variance. If a population follows the normal distribution, you can draw a sample of size n from this distribution and form the sum of the squared standardized scores, which is chi-square. This random variable chi-square follows the chi-square probability distribution with n degrees of freedom where n is a positive integer equals to n minus 1. The degrees of freedom parameter determines the shape of the distribution with more degrees of freedom, the skew is less. So this is the chi-square distribution. Now what is chi-square test? So the chi-square test is then used to determine whether the value of this function is likely to have occurred by chance alone in independent sets of data. So here is the formula for the chi-square distribution where Aij is actual frequency, Eij is the expected frequencies, and R is the number of rows and C stands for the number of columns. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the chi-square test of association. So what is the test of association? So test of association is used to determine whether one variable is associated with a different variable. For example, to determine whether the cells for different colors of cars depends on the city where they are sold. And you should uh, bear in mind that the chi-square test is not reliable when the expected values are too small. As a guideline, if any of the expected values are less than 5 or if the total of the expected values is less than 50, we should not rely on the result of the chi-square test. So for the test of association, we are going to use two functions of Excel to calculate chi-square test of association. So first function is the chi test function and this function is used to test independence of two variables. You can use the chi square test to determine whether there is a significant difference between observed and expected frequencies. So this function does take the two types of arguments. The first one is the actual range and the second is the expected range. Um, so ex actual range is the data in the actual sample results table and expected range is the data from the expected results table. So and also use the chi-square test for association to determine whether the distribution of observation for one variable differs depending on the category of the second variable and use when your data are in a contingency table or when they are in a group form. So the first function we are going to use is the chi test which, uh, which does take two types of arguments and the second function is the chi nb function and this function is used to create confidence interval estimates of a population variances and this function does take the two arguments. The first is the probability of chi square distribution and the second is the number of degrees. Of freedom so let's go ahead go ahead with the example and understand how test of association is calculated in Excel so here is the data for the male and female it does not necessary that the uh, values contain both the tables similar but we are going to calculate the association to determine whether the distribution of observations for one variable differs depending on the category of the second variable so first what we have to do first we have to calculate the total of all rows and the total of all columns so just select the cell type in equal sign and use the sum function of excel to calculate the sum and then enter and then just copy paste it so it will give the sum of these two and this two now for the column total select the sum and total of 
all this values of column and also values of female column so this will be the total of columns and this will be the total of every row now it should be necessary that the grand total of these uh, row well row sums and the sum of these two values of column must be equal so first i total this using sum function so it gives 124 also you can check it for these two values if the sum is equal or not so i'm just checking it so this also will give 124 that means our grand total is correct now what we have to do we have to calculate the expected data for male and female so what we have to do just select the cell type an equal sign then the total of first row so first put bracket then the total of first row it should be multiply with the column value of male and then it is divided by the grand total so this will give the value 26.8 so it should be calculated for the second uh, male expected value also type an equal sign bracket then this second value second row sum it should be multiplied with the first column total and divided by grand total and also for the third in this i will give this value equal this multiply this and divide it by grand total so the expected value of males is calculated using this total and these three values now for the female we have to use this value multiply with all these value one by one and divided by 1.4 type an equal sign this value multiply this and divided by this again type an equal sign bracket multiply 59 into 35 and divided by grand total again type an equal sign bracket this value multiply this value and it should be divided by grand total so these three values are the expected uh, data for the male and female now we have to calculate p value for uh, this data so what we have to do type an equal sign select the function chi test and then the actual range and expected range are the two arguments so our actual data our actual range will be this and our expected data and range will be this for uh, test of independence this will be our output but we are calculating test of association so this is not the output this is the probability value or this is the p value for our calculation now we have to calculate degree of freedom so how degree of freedom will be calculated for this data type an equal sign put bracket then use count function and then pass the rows total minus 1 close the bracket and should be multiply with again using count function and with the second total minus 1 just enter so this will be the degree of freedom for our data and now the test of association is calculated using ch i i n v chi n v function so first argument is the probability and second is the degree of freedom so 2.04 will be the chi square test of association output for this whole data so this is the simple example 
I just uh, give you an idea that how chi squared is calculated in Excel for the test of association. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Thanks for watching.